he seems to act in a very personal way a lot of the time. And, and one example, which is in your book, uh, which was, was also in the Waldman book, uh, was the, the little run-in that he had with Barack Obama when Barack Obama decided not to go with the so-called bipartisan compromise and felt that the Democratic uh, Party uh, position was a much stronger one. Right. And so when he made that decision, um, McCain sent him the most scathing, nasty letter. Yeah, and, and that and the examples I bring up in my book of his trying to get people fired, of his actively, in fact, getting people fired, um, of his of his run-ins with Senators, you know, Grassley and Cornyn and Domenici, a whole bunch of them on the Republican side. It's always that nasty. Um, again, he, his politics is very personal. Um, and again, as I, was, I think I was saying earlier, he decides that he takes a position, even if he may take a, a different position in a, a year, a month, a day, or an hour, whatever his position is at that moment, he is right and you are wrong and your position is suspect. Or sometimes he doesn't know what his position is. You, you have an incredible example in the book that floored me. I have, I have to tell you, I, 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 I've been reading it now five times trying to find some strain of, of sense in this thing. That, this was in an interview with the New York Times, and the question was on the distribution of condoms. Right. And his answer was, he, he was just asked very straightforwardly, do you think contraceptives help stop the spread of HIV? And the first thing he said is, he said, you've stumped me. Right. That was the uh, actually and, literally said right. a grown man who is, you know, presumably you know, yeah. like showed up for some college. And, and I want to read more of this, I'll, I'll abridge it, but then it says, I mean, the questioner couldn't probably believe that, and he said, I mean, I think you'd probably agree it probably does help stop it. And McCain laughed, and he said, I'm not informed enough on it. Let me I, find out. Right. You know, I'm sure I've taken a position on it in the past, I have to find out what my position was. Right. I mean, that statement in itself, that I have to look up what my position is. Yeah. Brian, and then, he, and then he called Brian, and he said, Brian, would you find out what my position is? Right. And he also said... On contraception. He also said Coburn, which is Senator Coburn. Tom Coburn, right. The paper on that. Where's his paper? You know, you know whatever Coburn's position, and God help us, because Coburn's to the far right of <clears throat> Attila the Hun. Um, you know, that position that McCain was going to take. And, I mean, that says it all. And I think that Paul Walden points out in his book, too, it's maddening that he can do stuff like that and still get away with being called a straight talker. Well, I want to ask something, because not only was he dishonest, but I, I, I'm not even sure he was dishonest in this. A lot of the time, he simply seems befuddled. Now, I'm not attributing that to his age. I know 70-year-olds who are sharp as a tack. So I am not talking about his age. I'm talking about John McCain. Right. We also know a certain sixty some early sixty something year old president who is the most befuddled person perhaps in the world. That's right. That's right. But you know, the the fact that he, you know, does confuse Shia with Sunni, the the fact that he does these things and again he gets a free pass from the media, whereas if Obama ever did that this would be sure evidence of his immaturity, sure evidence of his not being ready to be President of the United States or Commander-in-Chief, yet McCain does it all the time.